All right, and welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Today I have the GMG Davy Crockett here, and I want to basically show you how you're going to replace the thermal sensor. So the thermal sensor is mounted right here. It's a little brass uh, piece that's held in by a single nut right here. Now the thermal sensor in the grill is essentially what's monitoring the temperature in there and allowing the control board to make the necessary adjustments with both the fuel feed and with the combustion fan. So um, if you're in a situation where you find that uh, the interior of the grill temperature is different than what's reading on your controller or it seems like it's not adjusting itself properly up or down as you increase and decrease the, uh, the temperature on the controller, uh, then a lot of times we want to take a, a, a closer look here at the thermal sensor. So replacing the thermal sensor is actually pretty easy. As you can see here, uh, I have already removed the hopper uh, from the Davy Crockett. So the first thing that we do is we pull out the, the control board right here. The thermal sensor has a clip that clips right into the control board right here. So you'll actually feel that kind of clip down. So before I remove the hopper, I undo this clip. And then the other clip that's going to be on here is our main Molex right here. So those two clips I remove, control board pulls out. We have two screws on either side of the hopper. And then the hopper itself is able to come off. And then we just have basically uh, uh, two electrical connections inside the hopper that run to the DC outlet that's in there. So once the hopper is off, uh, pretty much exposes the thermal sensor right here and the wire that goes from it. And again, in the situation where we need to replace that thermal sensor, uh, I'm going to basically show you how we do that. So I'm going to pivot the grill back around so we have a little bit better look uh, inside here. So again, basically we just have this one nut. Now I personally don't have a wrench that's big enough for that nut. Everything on the Davy here is metric. Uh, I'd like to say that's probably a 14 or a 15 millimeter uh, nut that's on there. But for right now, I'm just going to grab a pliers. I'm going to start loosening that up. As I start loosening it up, it will start to turn the thermal sensor itself. So I'm just going to hold that with my left hand and finish unscrewing the nut here with my right. Take that nut off. And there are two specialty washers that are on here. Very important that we keep those specialty washers. As we pull the thermal sensor out from the opposite side, same thing. We have two of these specialty washers that are in place. So very important that those are in place for proper spacing. As this goes in the grill, these are um, our fire resistant washers that are on there. So very important those are in place. But this is basically our thermal sensor right here. So that's how we pull that out. As we go back to install it, again, we're just going to make sure that our washers are in place here. Hold that in with one hand on that side. Put these two washers in from the interior. And thread that nut back on there. Just like that. And give it a nice uh, tighten with my hand. And I'll grab my pliers. We don't need to crank this down, but we want to have it secure. I can't move it from the back end. And again, once we put back the, uh, the hopper in place and I am connecting the Molex to the control board, I will then connect the thermal sensor clip right into the control board. Um, essentially, that's it. That is the replacement of our thermal sensor. Pretty easy replacement on the, on the Davy Crockett right here. Uh, very similar for the Daniel Boone and the Jim Bowie. Uh, any questions at all, leave us a comment under the video here. We're always happy to assist. Uh, make sure everything is 100% and uh, that you're out there grilling some great food. So uh, we do offer every part for the line of GMG grills uh, and we guarantee the best prices. So uh, if you need any parts, need any accessories, check out pellethead.com and I uh, look forward to seeing you again on the next session of Pellet Tech 101.